Hello everybody and welcome back to lesson 21 optimization of nonlinear programming using Lagrange multiplier method. By the way, previously in lesson 20, we have discussed about finding the optimal solution of nonlinear programming using uh, differentiation. And here is an extension or part two of the optimization of nonlinear programming. So here we use uh, the method of Lagrange multiplier method. As uh, we remember from lesson 20, uh, in reality, there are some uh, occasions that their relationship, the relationship in the objective function and in the constraint may not be uh, linear, may not be linear. So in that case, we use another form that is uh, differentiation or we use uh, Lagrange multiplier to find out the optimum solution for uh, such type of problem. The method of uh, Lagrange multiplier is a general mathematical technique that can be used for solving what? Constraint optimization problem. Constraint optimization problem means a problem having what? Constraints. A problem having constraints. Consisting of linear objective function and one or more of uh, more linear or nonlinear constraints. So in this method, there are uh, some steps, by the way, there are uh, some steps on how to solve using uh, this particular method. And we will take one example and we will see uh, how to solve using these uh, techniques. Uh, let's take this example, uh, maximum f of x equals 4x1 minus 0 0.1 uh, x1 squared plus 5x2 uh, minus 0 0.2 x2 squared. So this is a non-linear, right? This uh, nonlinear because the exponent is uh, quadratic or uh, more than one. It's not linear anyway. It's not linear, which is subjected to this constraint. So the first step is to transform this nonlinear objective function to Lagrangian uh, function, Lagrangian function. So before that, uh, let's uh, uh, make the constraint like this, x1 plus 2x2 minus 40 equals zero. So we just move uh, 40 from this side, from right side to the left side, right? Uh, we just this is the same with that of uh, the constraint it is the same and next this expression is this expression means this uh, expression is multiplied by lambda the Lagrangian multiplier is and subtracted from the objective function to form the Lagrangian function L so since the value of this function is zero when we multiply with any number including lambda has become zero so when we subtract from the objective function so nothing is changed right because the value of the value of x1 plus 2x2 minus 40 equals what equals what equals zero right equals zero so nothing is changed so nothing is changed we just make what uh, objective function minus uh, lambda times this constraint function this constraint function because the constraint equation uh, now equals zero, the subtraction of constraint multiplied by lambda from the objective function doesn't affect, right? Because the value is zero, the value of the function. The Lagrangian function is differentiated with respect to each variable that is x1, x2, and lambda. And the result equation are solved using simultaneous equation. So we have to solve, we have to uh, differentiate uh, the Lagrangian function with all the variables, with all the variables, that is partial deriv derivative, and equate with what? Equate with zero, equate with zero. Then after, what we make is simultaneous equation, simultaneous equation. So when we derivate the Lagrangian function uh, with respect to x1, we get what? We get 4 minus uh, 0 0.2 x1 minus lambda, lambda. And when we, uh, we derivate with respect to x2, 5 minus 0.4 x2 mi minus 2 lambda. And when we derivate with respect to lambda, minus x1 minus 2 x2 plus 40. So, and we have to equate these three equations are all set equal to zero and solve simultaneously to determine the value of x1, x2, and lambda. So these are the equations. This is simultaneous equation. So using this simultaneous equation, we can find out the value of all x1, x2, and lambda. To solve this equation simultaneously, we multiply the first equation by minus 2, for example, uh, and we will solve uh, 
the first equation with the second equation after multiplying by minus to and add it to the second equation, which eliminates what? Which eliminates lambda, and we get only one uh, variable. Like this, when we multiply by two, so it becomes like this, and when we add with the second equation, we get what? Here, minus three, and here, uh, cancelled. Sorry, sorry, this is uh, added with uh, this, and we get uh, minus four x1, minus four x2, and lambda um, plus two, and minus two lambda uh, become cancelled. Now, this new equation and the original preceding third equation uh, represent two equations uh, with two unknowns. So we can solve two equations with two unknowns using uh, substitution or using um, multiplying with some factors so as to eliminate one. So as you see here, as you see here, we multiply the preceding third equation by minus by 0 0.4 and add it to the new equation in order to eliminate x1. Look. Here it is cancelled, and we get only what? We get only x2, and we can find x2 as this one mugs, this one mugs. So by substituting x2, we can, uh, by substituting x1, we can uh, find out what? We can find out x1, and by substituting x1 and x2, we can find out what? We can find out what? Lambda, lambda. So, substituting these values into the objective function, we can find the uh, maximization or the maximum profit that is 70.42 by substituting x1 and x2 in the original objective function. So, this, this result can also be obtained by using Lagrangian function L and multiplier lambda. Uh, okay, we can here substitute this in the Lagrangian function not in the original function. You know, this is the Lagrangian function, and here it is, the original function. This one is the original function, and the value of this one is zero, zero. We can test now whether it is zero or not, so we can get this one. To summarize, we have x1, this, 18.3 volts, uh, and x2, 10.8 uh, mugs, and z equals, the objective function equals 70.42, and lambda equals 0.33. This is the same answer uh, obtained previously using substitution method, right? However, unlike the substitution method, the Lagrangian, the Lagrangian multiplier approach can be used to solve nonlinear program problems with more complex constraint equation and inequality constraint. In addition, it encompasses problems with more than two variables, two variables, right? So it is very important technique to find out the solution for the uh, nonlinear uh, program. So this is all about uh, today's discussion. Thank you for listening. Have a good time. And hopefully we will meet with another discussion next time. Till then, have a good time. Bye.